How's it going guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm going to get straight into it because this video is just so exciting. I'm very thankful, man, to do what I love and, and follow my passion every day. Um, but I finally went pending on my vacant lot. This was an experience. This was my not only my first listing, but this was a probate listing. This was a different type of listing that I thought I would ever experience. I'm very thankful my seller found me on, on Facebook. My seller found me on Facebook through one of my Facebook ads and just said, hey, I need help. If you can help me, please. If not, can you refer me to someone that can? She explained to me the situation. It was a probate situation. Her father uh, was no longer mentally able to make decisions for himself. So she was a conservator in the probate process. So she needed to sell those properties for her dad so that his medical bills and any other bills that were behind needed to be taken care of. So she came to me with two properties. One property was still a livable property. It was a small square footage property, but the lot, the square footage on the home was probably about 600 something square feet, but the lot was 13,000 square feet. And it was, a, it was a great opportunity for anybody that was looking, you know, looking for a yard with that type of space. You know, people that garden, people that do things in the field, basically. You can do so much with that, amount, with that amount of square footage. And I was blessed to represent the buyer as well. Now we had got, I think in total, it was eight offers. We had gotten total of eight offers. Now my seller, now the buyer found me on realtor.com. He saw the listing, reached out to me and said, hey, I'm thinking about buying this house. I would love for you to represent me because you are the listing agent. And I got permission from my seller that if another offer comes in that's above, I can disclose to him exactly how high we needed to go if he wanted to, to beat out all the other offers. But he didn't really need to do so. My seller was primarily looking for someone to, to make it a smooth process. She wasn't looking for the highest number. She just wanted to make sure it was going to be a smooth process. She wanted to make sure whatever offer you put in would meet the appraisal. Now, long story short, we had over eight offers. The highest offer was two hundred and thirty thousand. It wasn't. It, no, it was a conventional offer, but we have to meet the appraisal. So when I asked if it doesn't appraise, are you able to pay the difference of the appraisal? Basically, what she said was, "We'll pay five thousand over." So if the appraisal came in at two hundred and five thousand, even though she put an offer for two hundred and thirty thousand. If the, um, if the appraisal come in at 205000 uh, $205, they were only going to pay 5000 more cash. So that would have came to 210000 on the sale. And then we weren't just doing, we wasn't doing that. We had another offer for 215000 My seller just still didn't feel comfortable with that being the appraisal. And my offer with my guy stayed in strong. He didn't want, you know, I let him know the high offers. He didn't want to go high. So I was blessed to... We came in at 205 and that's what my seller chose. And the appraisal came in at exactly 205000 So it has been great. We closed on that deal in January. I represented the seller and the buyer. Two milestones in my career. First time probate, first time representing the buyer and seller. The next listing was the fix and flip. Now this is a story on its own. Now, this fix and flip, it started as a fixer-upper. The first buyer that we went into escrow with noticed how much more it was going to cost, how much more work that the house was going to need. I believe the foundation alone needed about 30000 worth of repairs. So, basically, long story short, that buyer backed out of that first deal. And then we got another buyer. Came in pretty strong. Very, you know, he, he, he specialized in these types of houses. He knew what the house need. He knew what the house needed to get it to up to code. The unfortunate thing, while we were in escrow during New Year's weekend, the house caught fire. Come to find out there was a squatter that was living in the property. Something, some situation happened and the house caught fire. Now, when I first originally got the call, I'm thinking it was just maybe, okay, we got some fire damage now added to the damage that's already there. I pull up to the property, and as you guys can see, it was completely gone. It was completely burnt down. There was a basement in the property, and now, and you could completely see the bottom of the basement 
from the outside of the home and the property was completely gone. Thankfully, my client had already basically had it set up for a demolish to happen for the home and the buyer could appeal the demolish, but we didn't have to go there. So now the home was eventually sold, is now being sold as a vacant lot and we are now in escrow and we are pending on that lot. Now, this experience has taught me a lot. It has taught me patience. It has taught me to be humble and to be thankful that no matter what came of this situation during this probate process, I learned and I'm thankful that my seller chose me to represent her. Now we are pending. We are one more house to where she's completely free from this situation. She can continue to go and take care of her dad. You know, there's so many things that could come about in these situations. You got bill collectors calling you. You got all the, you know, you got the hospital where, you're, you know, where your loved one is staying at. So I had to make sure that I took care of my client. She had already enough stuff going on, and I wanted to make sure that I made everything else as smooth as possible for her. And I think I got the job done in, in doing just that. We are now in escrow. We are handling all the paperwork. She just has to relax until it, that time comes and we're closing. And it has been a phenomenal process. Understanding and learning probate has helped me realize exactly how I want to help in real estate. Not only, what I, not only do I want to help people buy and sell and get into their first homes, sell their homes, but I want to help people in probate as well. Probate is a very sensitive field. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of compassion, empathy, letting people know, hey, man, <laughs> I do this because I help. I do this because I enjoy helping. It has nothing to do with my commission. That's just a byproduct to my service. So I really always try and go above and beyond for my clients. I always try and go and be the person of need. You have a situation. I'm not just, when it comes to probate, I'm not just a real estate agent that's going to help you sell the real estate I'm going to help you resolve this situation if you need people helping to help you move out of the property I have a moving company that I work with if you need certain fixes and certain repairs to get the property up to get the highest market value I have people that I can reach out to as well I'm here to help you in this situation through probate because I'm a helper I'm a proud helper and that's one things I felt like you know God put in you know, put in the universe for me to do probate because I have a passion to help and because I have a patience for people. I have a patience just to get the job done because this is what my client needs. This is what my client is asking for and I'm going to do my best to deliver. It's just that simple, man. It's really just that simple. So my probate process was very educational. This probate process was very um, eye-opening to see exactly everything that you could deal with in real estate. And I'm thankful that I handled everything accordingly. My client had a tenant in the, the property that my buyer bought, and I, we handled that accordingly. I was completely honest on both ends of the representation, and, the, and I'm still talking to both. I'm still helping my seller um, sell her vacant lot property, and I'm actually working on my buyer because he's needing to sell the home that he was currently living in, now he's moving to Stockton with a house he, I helped him buy. So I'm, I'm just going to keep growing. We're just going to keep getting better and just can continue to keep helping people and guide them in the right direction in real estate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys continue to follow me. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And you guys take it easy and stay safe.